guys today we're gonna to be doing another get ready with me video I was inspired off of this phone case that I recently got from velvet caviar it is a super fun obnoxious pizza burger french fries glittery phone case yes I've gotten so many questions about my other phone case this is the one that I've had for like I don't know since September I think it's from velvet caviar they ended up reaching out to me because I've tagged them in some posts and now I'm an affiliate with them they gave me a discount code for you guys so if you use Brianna at checkout you will get 15% off so um, I am an affiliate so I do get compensated from that but I've gotten so many questions about this one that thought I'd share. So I really love all of the like hot pink little specks in it so I kind of want to go around that route. I have some glittery stuff here. This is definitely going to be like really fun makeup look. So I've already done my eyebrows, filled them in, prepped and primed my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with some eyeshadows obviously. The first shade I'm going to take is Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. This color is like really good because it's close to my skin tone so it's just going to help the other shades that I put on blend out a little bit better. I want this to be like really rounded. Okay and then I want to add a little bit of this like orangey shade. This is Morocco from Makeup Geek and I'm going to use the C511 brush from Crown. Oh that was very pigmented. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my other brush and blend that out because I put on a lot of product. I want this to get really defined in the crease, so I'm gonna pick up my Smith 235 brush. It's a really like long and tapered brush, and I'm gonna use this new MAC eyeshadow that I've never tried. It's called Never Say Never. It's like a hot pinky red shade. I'm gonna pick that up on the tip of the brush and really get this here in the socket. Oh, that is so pretty. And then once the majority of the product is off, I'm just gonna go up a little higher and kind of blend it out. I'm gonna use this angled brush. It's actually for your eyebrows, but I'm gonna use it for the crease. I'm gonna pick up this other new eyeshadow from MAC called I'm Into It. This is a very beautiful red purpley brown, one of the deepest red purple browns that I have. I'm gonna put this right in the crease, kind of like that, and then take, I'm gonna use the 247, pick up a little bit of that mixed with that redder shade and get it right in there and blend this upwards just a touch. This is really going to help start to blend it out a little bit, make it look a little bit more gradient and gradual. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up this random shade. I didn't think I needed it, but I touched it over here and I think it looks good. This is the shade Chickadee from Makeup Geek. It's a really like yellowy orange. I'm just going to hit a little bit of that. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit and kind of just halo that through and it kind of just continues that like sunset sort of look. To highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter that I plan on using on my face. This is brand new, I've never tried it, but I got it in my BoxyCharm and I was really excited about this. It's the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. This is like really popular. People always use it and I've never purchased it. So thank you BoxyCharm for sending it in my BoxyCharm. Can't wait to try it. I'm just gonna take a flat brush and uh, pop it on my brow bone. Oh my goodness. That's the one, Daniel, son. Oh, that is just glorious. Okay, so for my eyelids today, I'm actually gonna use two completely different products. I have here the Rose Gold Retro Magnificent Metals thing from Stila. Looks like this. Everybody is raving about these and talking about them. But I have this Ideal Duo from Dose of Colors in the color Shell. They honestly look so much like each other and I already have this, so I don't know. I'm gonna use both of them today so that you can make up your mind and see what you think because with these, you do need some kind of glitter glue, otherwise it's gonna fall over your face so in the end I'm pretty sure that these end up being a better deal but I'm gonna use them both today if you have one or the other you can create this look if you don't have either one of these you can use an eyeshadow it really doesn't matter so I'm first gonna go in with the NYX glitter primer and I'm putting it from the inner corner to the outer corner then I'm gonna go in with the Stila product and go right on my lid with this for that dries, I'm gonna go in with that brush and start kind of blending out the edges. I'm gonna use that tapered uh, 235 brush from Smith and just get that really close here so that they kind of blend together while still being a really harsh line in the crease. 
And now I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors shell. So this has a little top thing here where you put the color down and then you top it with this glitter. So it has like the primer already inside of it. So I'm gonna pick that up on the brush and on this eye, put this one on. Okay, and then I can close this and open up the bottom and there's all of this beautiful glitter in here. So I'm just gonna top that with that. So if you don't like like loose glitters, you won't like this product. You'd probably prefer the Stila one. But for me, I think this is way prettier it is more silvery this is more coppery go in with that brush and get the edge real nice what do you think so this is the Stila this is dose of colors they're not totally completely the same color the dose of colors is more of like a silvery pink and this is more of like a rose copper pink this has like way more of that glitter shine to it if you hate glitter you're gonna love the Stila one I'm just letting you know that if you you don't need both I know they didn't come out around the same time but I personally have both and I feel like I don't need both so yeah. I'm gonna use the Inglot gel liner and give myself a pretty elongated wing. Okay, I'm about to give you some mixed information. After putting on my eyeliner, it was very tricky to do over top of the Dose of Colors one. It was so easy to do over the Stila one. So, there's that. Okay, now I can go in with the Heavy Metal Glitter from Urban Decay. This is in the color Junk Show, and this is gonna make it so that you can't tell the difference between my eyes. It's gonna bring out more of like a hot pink look. I do this after the eyeliner because the eyeliner is really hard to go over any kind of big chunky glitter. And since this is like a brush, it's super easy to put it exactly where you want it to go. I applied some mascara and then quickly applied some lashes. These are the Skin to Skin Lashes from Velour. All right, moving on to the face, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover Primer. It is for radiance and long lasting foundation, but I've never tried it and I just got it in the mail, so I'm gonna try it out today. It's supposed to have like coconut oil in it. That feels nice. Oh, it gets kind of like sticky. That's nice. That means the foundation is going to stick. And then today I'm going to mix some foundation. I'm going to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation and mix it with the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. I'm actually going to use this brush from Crown today. It looks like the Artiste brushes. And just blend the scene. For concealer, I'm going to use the... I almost had the chart. <laughs> I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And dot that under the eyes. A little bit of the center of the nose and then to blend this out I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and now I'm gonna cream contour my face I'm using this contour stick from crown it's in the color brulee and I like to work one section at a time and then blend it in then do a next section and then blend that in just because it helps me control what I'm doing a lot easier since I'm trying out this whole new contouring technique it really is helpful to do it that way. And then I'm gonna bronze using the uh, bronzer from Estee Lauder, the Bronze Goddess. And I'm using this Smith 112 brush to do so. I really love this. I only used it once so far in a uh, full face of first impressions video, which I think is going to be out before this one. It's just a really pretty like red tone bronzer. Really pretty and it's very complimentary with the tones that I have on the eyes. For blush, I'm gonna go in and use the Peaches blush from MAC. Pop that on the cheeks. Oof, so pretty. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this Laura Mercier translucent powder and just pop it right here. While that's sitting there hanging out, I'm gonna go back into that Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive highlighter and pop this on my cheekbones. Oh my gosh, that is seriously so pretty. This looks so much like Heat Wave from Estee Lauder. I'm not even kidding. Get some nose. Okay, moving back to the under eye area. I'm first gonna take the Never Say Never shade and pop it right underneath the eye. Just like so. And then start blending it out. And then pick up some of that I'm Into It shade from MAC and deepen this up right at the lash line. And I'm gonna pick up some Morocco on the uh, 247 brush. Just a little bit and tap off a lot of the excess because this is pigmented. I'm gonna go right at the lash line and start blending there. Not too low, but right at the lash line because it'll kind of like naturally blend itself. And then I'm gonna take the Rimmel Nude Liner, my favorite nude liner, and pop this into the waterline. I'm popping on my freckle with the NYX Eyebrow Marker in Medium. This is a super necessary step. Everybody must do this. I'm popping a little bit of the 
Rodeo Drive highlighter right here. I'm quickly just going to line my lips with a lip liner. You're not even gonna see this. I just wanna have some definition so that it helps me when I'm filling in my lip with the other lip product. The lip color I'm gonna use is Pink Drank. <laughs> I love that name. It's one of the new Smashbox lip colors. I don't know exactly what they're called. These do not have a matte finish. They look like they're gonna be sort of like a matte liquid lipstick, but they are not matte. They're like a wet liquid lipstick. There we go. Alright you guys, this is the completed makeup look. After all of this, I think that the winner for the eye product is the Stila Magnificent Metals. And when I sat down to do this video, I was like, am I even going to use this? I should just use this, but I'm glad I did because as this is wearing, I find that this product is kind of moving around a little bit. It's getting in the crease where this has stayed put. I'm officially impressed. I'm officially sold. I like it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to check out the description box and check out the phone cases. They're really high quality phone cases and I'm really happy to be working with them now because I've had this one for so long and it's literally in such good condition and I drop my phone all the time. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys later. Bye.